So today is the 4th of July and today is the first man that I fell in love with birthday which is my father and I don't know it's kind of weird around this time of the year for me which I don't think I ever really like recognize like I never pay it much attention once this year comes around but I do see how it might affect me because you know as they say like some women have like daddy issues and yeah I do I have my daddy issues I really truly do and I will admit that and one one of my issues with my father was that I let me take these glasses off these glasses are not about me oh It is so freaking hot. Alright, so one of my issues with my father was, which I really, I don't really talk about it because, you know, that was like such a long time ago. But I guess, you know, sometimes in life we don't really understand like how things, you know, affect us and how it affect the relationships that we are in. And... I'm not talking about, a, you know, a relationship as far as a sexual relationship with a male and a female. I'm just talking about relationships in general. Whatever relationship that you may have, whether it's with um, just everybody, just everybody around you. So, excuse me, you guys. Yeah, just everyone around you and... From, from the time I probably was like that I could um that I could remember like from the time I probably was like maybe six or seven years old I remember a situation that happened with me and my father where you know he didn't like us to eat a lot of junk food and candy and different stuff like that but I had some cherry balls and I know this is gonna sound so ridiculous but there's gonna be you know anyway I had some cherry balls and my father he took the cherry balls back from me and as he was eating my cherry balls he was like He was telling me basically like how bad they were and I don't know it was just it was just kind of mocking and I guess you know at such a young age it was you know even more hurtful of course you know because I'm a kid and here it is I went to the store and I bought this candy and I was so happy and it was like my favorite candy and here is my father is sitting here and he's eating them and he's enjoying them and he's telling me how you know I shouldn't be eating this stuff or whatever and the most hurtful part of the whole thing and I know you're probably like no she do not remember this <laughs> from six seven years old I think I, I could have been five or six I remember one I lived on Murray Willoughby being the ages of five and six but I'm not a hundred percent sure but I know I was very young and when he handed me back the bag it had one cherry ball left and I thought that was like I thought that was so cruel like seriously I thought that was the cruelest thing you know that at the time I thought it was the cruelest thing that you, cruelest thing that you can do 
you know, at the time. And it's crazy because I held on to that for so many years. And then as I got older, I mean, even at that time, I could feel that my father, he wasn't, he wasn't, he, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think he was 100% happy with me as a daughter. Let me just say that. I don't think he was 100% happy with me as a daughter. Because there was another situation that happened when my little sister was born. And when my little sister was born, you know, we all was around her and we were all so happy, you know. Here it is, you know. My mother, she had another baby. My mother had 13 kids. So my little sister i'm the fourth five six seven eight so she was the ninth child at the time she was the ninth child and i remember you know i was i'm young i'm a kid so i put her hands in my mouth and like the backlash I received from my father was like so it was kind of cold it was a bit cold it was a bit cold and years later when I found out what I found out concerning my sister I was I was kind of happy I was kind of happy and it was like an aha to my father and I know it's just, this is a child. You have to remember, this is a child's mind. And as I got older, it was a teenage mind. And now that I'm older, older, you know, of course, you know, that's, I don't hold those animosities towards my father at all. But there was that moment, you know, and it was just like, with my older sister, which I think was pretty much like was the biggest thing for me you know in one way when I was younger I didn't I, it didn't bother me funny enough when I was younger it didn't bother me that my father seemed to love my older sister more than me it didn't bother me at the time it really didn't but then when I became a teenager it bothered bothered me like it really really bothered me because there were like a few other situations that happened and I can just see that I wasn't a major priority to him you know and years later um my aunt she actually said something on one of the social medias and she was basically saying that, you know, my father loved all his children, but he held, you know, a special place for her. And I'm not going to lie. Like, it just, I don't know. It, that, that, my aunt saying that it really did something to me. And... I pretty much just was like, you know what? The man is dead. I really don't care how he felt about me. And I don't know. <laughs> ah, I don't know. It's just it's just very it's just very weird to have you know to be in a space, you know, especially at this age, you know, concerning a man that has been gone for, oh, I want to say we almost gone on 30 years. That's what I want to say. No, it's not going on 30 years. I think it's about 25 years. I can't remember. I can't remember. But 
I know there's things, you know, in life, you know, people say you got to let it go. And I think I have. I've, I have let it go. I have let it go. You know, I've made um, peace with the whole situation. And there's actually a situation that happened when I was in Virginia. And, you know, it's kind of a strange occurrence. But I had been crying my eyes out, you know, just trying to understand why like why didn't you like me you know i can't understand it blah 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 and i'm crying 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 and there was a balloon that i had downstairs and we've had this we had the balloon the balloon was in the house for like a month and i'm being very honest right now the balloon was in the house for a month and the balloon floated upstairs and in my closet, I bought my child's father, I bought him a bear. And it said, I love you. And yes, the balloon floated upstairs into my room. And it, it just like, you know how a balloon does. It did that in the room for a little bit. And then the balloon went in the closet and hovered by the bear. I promise you with everything that's in me, I would my life to end right at this moment, today, tomorrow, whenever. I promise you that that is what happened. And then the balloon came back out the closet and it just hovered in the room. It didn't go back downstairs or anything like that. It just hovered in the room. And because I'm sitting here looking at this whole situation, of course, I stopped crying because now I'm just like, oh my God, what the hell just happened? And so I just started, you know, to smile and I said, I get it. And I, and, and I hear, you know, that I, that, you know, that I believe you, that you do love me. And i just felt that it was, you know, the energy, you know, of my father, wherever, you know, the spirits you know wherever we go but I really felt like he was there in that moment and so yeah but it's the 4th of July and it's my father's birthday <laughs> so I just thought I would come and tell this little story a little piece a little intimate piece of my life you know but anyway you guys I really hope and pray that everyone be safe today and once again you know let's just take care of each other you know whatever our differences are um, whatever a family member may have done to you a friend may have done to you you have to really think about is it worth you know not ever seeing that person again speaking to that person again um, have you forgiven others that may have done you wrong and you know I mean just forgive each other let's just try to forgive each other more um, that's all I can say I know sometimes it's a very hard situation you know to forgive but that is definitely something that we all should be trying to work on and before someone have to forgive you really think about your actions towards others 